Technically, I've been homeless for about two and a half years. It's been kind of tough, you know, there's no shower there. I have to go to the gym to take showers. I do it because I, I know it'll pay off. If I can live cheap, I can put my money into what I need to put it into, which is the music. I know that there's an audience out there for us and we just want to get our music to the masses. Close your eyes and shut your ears, it's almost over. I work for a uh, restaurant delivery service. Teaching to pay way better than waitering. Most of my day consists of talking on the phone, which I don't really enjoy that much. Fabulous? No. Lucrative? No. Flexible? Yes, that is why I choose the job. You don't want to expose your dreams too much sometimes, unfortunately, because sometimes it's all you've got. I would say at least once a day it comes up that this is a waste of time. I've done this so many times, searching for bandmates, and it's such a long process. I've had to give up my art and take care of the kids. I would not do this so much that it was killing my family. I mean, it sounds kind of ruthless, but we have to do what it takes to make this thing work. There's always, there's always next time. I mean, it's been my goal this year to write a pretty, pretty legit song that will get national airplay. Quite friendly, Warp Tour, this decides it all. Well, I just want you to know that I... I'm just gonna get too old for this. I was like, I just, you know, am I gonna give up? He said, never give up. Cause you know that you have got it made in the shade, in the likes of wealth and fame all hail. It's absolutely insane to say what I'm doing is so important that millions of people are gonna love it. Right? You gotta believe. I guess music saved my life from... Committing suicide at an early age, I guess. What's in life?